Hi everyone, welcome back to Hope and Coffee. I'm Hope. Yes, still working on my coffee. Uh, but I think this is going to be my last video for today. Um, and so then I'll probably like, you know, you'll probably see me in my next video with a different outfit or what have you. But it's chilly and it's cold and I need to go get my workout in. Um, but... I had about four more episodes that I was thinking about recording, however, I am going to take a few minutes to try to edit some of these and get some of them scheduled before I do those. So anyway, um, this particular episode is probably also in the same vein of maybe what I call unpopular opinions. It's a little bit based on not so much articles that I've seen, but a little bit inspired by articles I've seen. Like there's not been one particular article. There have just been multiple articles about celebrities and things happening and stuff like that. And it really made me wonder why do we care so much about celebrity lives? Like I really don't know. Um, I haven't figured that out yet. But I did not grow up in an age or era like where it was super easy to I guess like be a part of celebrity lives I guess the closest that I ever got celebrity life wise was like we I had like Tiger Beat which were the little magazines where it would talk about like teen heartthrobs and stuff like that so it would have like it would have their like their list of favorites and stuff like that so you could figure out like okay your favorite pop star loves the color blue and this and that and shops at Hollister or what have you but um that's probably the closest thing until we got the internet and then the internet had to take off and then there was social media and then there was um MySpace and all these sorts of things so then you started feeling like oh well maybe I can befriend these celebrities maybe I can actually um connect with these individuals well I'm like I'm a very tiny tiny little YouTuber I am not by any way or any means an influencer I'm not trying to sell you anything I'm not trying to influence you in any capacity to do anything but live your life in the best way possible that you feel comfortable and so that's all I'm trying to influence you to do so I don't consider myself an influencer I can talk about makeup but I think there are a million people on the internet that are better at makeup than me I can talk about celebrities however I also think that celebrities are just people the way you and I are people I think that's their job I think they and they some probably enjoy it some probably don't enjoy it some probably try to stay out of the limelight as much as they can because again their job is to act and they're really good at it usually and then when they're not acting they probably try to keep their heads down and just live as normal of a life as they can but I haven't yet really understood even at this point in my life even after having lived you know this long with exposure to all these avenues of social media that um why why celebrity lives are so fascinating to people because I, like right now there's a whole bunch of stuff going on on like google news and there's tons of articles and so this person does this or Instagram and stuff like that and I actually don't follow a ton of celebrities on especially my Instagram I follow a lot of puppies I follow a lot of animals in general cartoon artists artists and illustrators creative individuals who have maybe like Etsy shops um, people who are really just wonderful with their hands making jewelry mugs those sorts of things um, but I don't really follow individuals for like too much makeup tips or things of that nature. I follow people more for, I guess, entertainment value if they can make me laugh. But um, I don't know. I guess I need your thoughts. I need your opinions on what it is as to why there is so much care and concern for following the lives of celebrities. Because I think one of the articles that I saw was people were... I don't, I don't know, outraged at Lady Gaga because they thought maybe she had taken Ozempic. Now, nobody knows for sure, but they just thought that she had, and they were just so outraged because how dare she do this to herself? 
Well, they don't know. They have no idea. They don't know what's going on in her life or anything about that, but people are going to have opinions about that. And I don't think they have the right to judge, and I think it's just, I think Lady Gaga, unless she comes out and says that that's what she's been doing, I, she's just living her life and trying to promote her makeup brand. I didn't see anything wrong with that. Um, again, we see that football has had an explosion Specifically, I think it's the Kansas City Chiefs. I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't watch a ton of football. But um, simply because Taylor Swift has shown up at some football games. And so now more people are tuning in, more females especially, because they want to catch a glimpse of Taylor Swift at a football game. Um, but then there's like the whole thing with uh, Jada, Jada Pinkett and Will Smith. Well, I don't, I don't care what someone writes in their memoir. I mean, I don't know how much of it's actually true or not, because at this particular point, it just seems like these things are coming out of left field, and I, I don't really care. Like, a, a person's memoirs are a person's memoir. However they remember a story is however they want to remember the story, and our memories are really only like 10% true or anyway. Um, I don't really know if that's an accurate percentage or not, but what I'm saying is that People are going to be people. And most of these celebrities are still, again, just people. They are not in any way um, deities. At, I think they are mostly lovely in most respects. Sure, they're flawed. And some of them, like, I don't know if maybe individuals are, I don't know, living vicariously through them. I haven't figured, like I said, haven't figured that out yet. If any, if anything, I would live to lo love to live vicariously through the life of a really prolific writer, because then maybe I could get some of these stories out of my brain. Um, I don't know if I need to go talk to Mr. Stephen King, but he doesn't really write the style that I write. Um, I don't think Neil Gaiman does either, even though those, those are two writers that I read a lot of and I enjoy thoroughly. Again, I love Brandon Sanderson, uh, and I would go to author signings by any of those gentlemen. However, I don't, I don't idolize them. I don't follow their lives uh, in any great capacity other than I hope they're doing well and I hope their lives are as happy as they can be. Uh, I hope they know that they're supported by their fans or the individuals who enjoy their works. Uh, but I like... I am not the type of individual who needs to know where they live. I don't want to be able to text these people or drop them a DM or anything like that because I just don't feel like, like, what do I really have to say to these people other than what another other million people have to say as well? Um, maybe for the writers, though, I would try to ask for a little bit of advice on, um, I don't know, getting started. Uh, what to do when you're stuck but I feel like I could actually find that information if I were motivated enough to just google it because I could probably type in Neil Gaiman motivation to write and he would probably have an entire like I don't know interview where he's talking about it because I know Brandon Sanderson has um, a podcast called writing excuses where it's pretty much like you know um because you don't have a lot of time and we're not that smart or something like that. It's super cute. But it's pretty much about helping you write. So I can find the things that I need, but I can still be my own person. And I can still be inspired by these individuals who have taken steps and taken steps of greatness into the avenue that I really enjoy. But I also can't follow them in the same way. I have to make my own steps and that's okay too. But should I ever be able to have the opportunity to have tea or coffee with these individuals to share a conversation? That would be amazing. And I would love that. And especially on my podcast, Books Are Magical, that I have with my friends, Annalisha and Hannah. If anyone were ever, ever wanted to do an interview, any writers, we would greatly appreciate it. We would probably fangirl, but we would. But that's because in that particular podcast, we are the readers of books that are there to um, pretty much fangirl over the books we read to share with our audience the things that we love and to talk about um, the way these words impact us. But anyway, I would love your opinions. Please leave them in down below. If you've made it this far, please like, subscribe, and I will see you all on the next page. Have a great one.